All right, so I've made this simple slab, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's it's five meters tall. Um, nothing fancy. It, it's more than the slab. It's, it's kind of the whole whole plate. Uh, over here, I can change the count um, easily, and I can get up to let's say 65 floors for now and then I can start to do some things if I wanted to make it like the spire uh, obviously has a tapered top uh, maybe not that much so I can adjust how much the taper is and then we can start to look at the rotation and obviously those are all straight lines and we we can as you can see as I you know we can we can spin four degrees five degrees ten degrees in fact what's interesting is you can just keep right on going to twenty to thirty and then it starts to do some interesting things all over again and almost starts to unravel, unravel again the other way. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. And then it, until you get all the way up to the full 90 degrees, and you're kind of back where you started. So I'll reset that to zero, and uh, reset everything back to 100. So we're back right to where we started. And uh, the Astoria Hotel, uh, kind of a similar thing to start we would we would taper the top and this time we only want to rotate a little bit and now we've got that quickly and easily we've got a, a form that's pretty close to where we were and we've you know we're coming up on the two minute mark So another thing we can do is we can add a randomizer to this thing and we can say okay over here at the position marker I only want you to move up to uh, it will say five meters in any direction and if I take this strength uh, I can get a purely random seed as it shifts the slabs in this random way in any given direction, five meters. Okay, and then uh, just for your amusement, the, the tower falling. And so here, what I wanted to show was that you can also animate that process as it as it moves up, twists, and then tapers. Ultimately, um, all that can be keyframed. Uh, so that you can explain why you did some of the turns and twists that you did. Uh, obviously it would be more convincing with the context and some of those things. And then ultimately, uh, probably in a more professional setting, you could present it in real time in some space that doesn't exist and suddenly you have this six foot model effortlessly.